I'm David M. Green. You know, recently, I was looking through an old cupboard, and I found this. A tape of the 1985 Australian Grand Prix, recorded two years before I was born. And being the nostalgia enthusiast that I am, which incidentally isn't what it used to be, <laughs> I decided to take a look at it. As interesting as it was to see old footage of Adelaide's, quote, skyline, end quote, what was most entertaining about this tape was that it also featured the original TV commercials from 1985. And quite frankly, they're ridiculous. Which is why I am now going to take pride in sharing with you these antiquated ads that I found on this tape. And, uh, you know, I'll make some sarcastic comments or something. You know, the basic YouTube drill. <laughs> right. First category, computers. <laughs> Have a look at this. Cuthbert, give me the last quarter sales figures. The highest daily rainfall ever recorded in South Australia was nine inches. Cuthbert, you are the sales figures computer. I want those figures, and I want them now. It takes 272,000 litres and four and a half years to paint the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Oh, no, the sales figures now. If your computers are having trouble talking to each other, install Wang Networking. Thank you, Cuthbert. <laughs> Cuthbert. Incidentally, Wang don't make computers anymore. I believe they had some issues with liquidity. Is it really that unbelievable the company didn't do so well? They don't even put their computers on a desk. But all computers are just funny on their own. Like this one. Data General. Also the only company to make a computer that is a true portable office. Finally, a computer that lets you work and gamble at the track simultaneously. But by far the stupidest computer commercial is this one here for Canon Computers. See if you can make any sense of this. Right, girls, we're off to lunch. Right, fellas. Those magnificent Canon typing machines. A buzz for the boys, and for us, the touch of perfection. What the hell was that? And what's with this guy? They just wasted their whole lunch break! And then when the women get back, they just nestle back down into their stereotype feminine role. What was that again? A buzz for the boys, and for us, the touch of perfection. Ooh. That's sexist! Mm. Oh god, and the music as well. And that brings me to my second category. Jingles. I mean... In commercials today, the jingles are awful, but jingles from the 1980s, oh. My. God. You really start your holiday, the moment you stay up on board the train. So Getting there is half the fun. <laughs> well, kids, I hope you like singing at the piano because we're going to be on the train for three days! But hey, if trains aren't your thing, petrol was still pretty cheap in the 1980s. So you could be driving away in one of these. Oh, it fits in all the tight spaces, all right. Assuming you can climb out the window. You know, I'd like to see that ad remade using only the word laser. Now that is advertising. And apparently so is this. If you think all pizzas are the same, you obviously haven't tried Pizza Hut's famous pan pizza. <sighs> You're always welcome at Pizza Hut For pizza made with ah Dripping with that wonderful mm, I can hardly wait to taste that You're always welcome at your local Pizza Hut family restaurant Pizza Hut, the home of pan pizza ah. Who eats pizza like that? Take a look at that kid again 
The funny thing is though, that kid would be about 30 years old today and would probably look a little something like this. Assuming, of course, a diet heavily laden with pizza. But moving on to the next category, things you probably couldn't get away with today. Now, the first thing that comes to mind in this post-9-11 world is terrorism, which is why British Airways probably wouldn't want to include this image in one of their commercials today. <laughs> but what about outrageous claims? Here's an ad for Weber barbecues. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, whoa! Don't get me wrong. They're quality barbecues. We actually have the exact same one advertised here. But there's just a couple of things that said in this commercial that could be seen as slightly misleading. See if you can spot them. Good day. Just because I'm in the bush doesn't mean I go without good tucker. Come and have a look how I cook at home with my Weber barbecue. The Weber is just like an oven, only better. Being round, the Weber's unique airflow system means that the heat completely surrounds the food, sealing in all the natural juices and flavour. Now, you can't burn the food, and there's no flare-up because the fat drops into this tray. Ingenious! Just put the food in, pop the lid on, forget about it. You don't even have to turn the food over. And while she's cooking, you can do whatever you like. Now for the proof of the pudding. Oh. Ain't that something? Magnificent! And it's fat-free. With a Weber, you can barbecue anything. But make sure it's a genuine Weber. Do yourself a favour. Get a Weber. It's the best way to barbecue anything. Mmm. Even human remains. But did you spot the outrageous claims? Here's one. And it's fat-free. Is that right, Jack? Then what the hell is that? There is fat everywhere. And what else did he say? Now, you can't burn the food, and there's no flare-up, because the fat drops into this tray. Firstly, I'm pretty sure I could burn the food if I wanted to. And secondly, well, thank God for the incredibly advanced space-age technology contained within that aluminium tray. I never would have thought of using such a device to catch the fat, which is apparently not even present in the food in the first place. Ingenious. You said it. But speaking of fat... Hello, loves. Hi, Rita. What have you got there? Well, for ages, I've wanted to eat a poly. <laughs> now it's here. We want a poly. Not your sort of poly. New Eater Poly. Polyunsaturated. Ah! A smooth spreading polyunsaturated margarine with that great eater value and great eater taste. How's that, loves? Rita! New Eater Poly or Eater Five Star. Great taste, great value, great choice. Polyunsaturated? Doesn't that stuff cause cancer? As for my final category, celebrity endorsement. Vern Chupin sure earned his appearance fee with this commercial. International champion racing driver Vern Chupin talks about our new Formula One World Championship Grand Prix. Well, Vern, what's it like? Fantastic. What a great layout. The new Formula One Grand Prix from Scalex Trek. It's almost as good as the real thing. Just ask Vern. It's a winner. A winner! But now, you could be the winner. Just listen to Tony Barber. You can still be a winner in Holden's Sale of the Century, but time is running out. To make way for the 1986 unleaded petrol models, all current cars must go. Your Holden dealer has factory bonuses, so you hit the jackpot on Commodores, Camiras, Astras. In fact, great deals on all these Holdens. Be a winner. Buy now before the Holden Sale of the Century ends. I got the deal of the century, Tony. Great. See your Holland dealer now. Time's nearly up. She just got the deal of the century, and this is how you react? The deal of the century, Tony. Great. Well, thanks for watching. I'll leave you now with a message of friendship. Assuming, of course, it's friendship as defined by the Bizarro Dictionary, which describes a friend as one who will take all of your money and invest it in a high-interest, high-risk building society on the brink of bankruptcy. I'm David M. Green. really high interest and access to their money. We've increased our 14-day call account to a whopping 13.5% with just 14 days notice to withdraw. A dollar gets you started and you can add to your savings anytime. The 14-day call account.